Hey guys, I'm Ken Gishi and this is Boba. Uh, we're gonna talk about what I do during the off-season. Come on in. So here we are in the off season. Uh, we just wrapped up the final round of 2018 Formula Drift. Uh, it was one roller coaster of a season for us. I mean, it kind of always is. Uh, we had a few ups, a few downs, but overall, 11th place finish. Uh, not bad considering uh, we were having some small issues here and there, but I think overall it was a successful season for us uh, with the Toyota Racing Graded Performance 816. Now moving forward, uh, I want to take this time off and off season to sort of start planning for the next season, the next two seasons, and then really integrate uh, what we've learned throughout the past season and the seasons before, prior to that, and uh, apply what we've learned into the next season. It's sort of like a repeating cycle every season. Oh, you go into off season, start to tear down, the clean up, and then uh, you really want to apply what you've learned and what you've experienced in the prior season going into uh, the new year. So uh, that's kind of what we've been doing uh, collectively as a team. We would sit down and kind of plan out what changes need to be made, uh, where we need to go for sponsorship opportunities, you know, talk to our current existing sponsors, partners, and figure out our next moving step. Uh, now outside of that, outside of the competition aspect, I've been working on a few different projects with uh, a lot of my sponsors like Toyota. And um, the off season for drifting is actually on season for a lot of the auto show stuff. So uh, with my partnership with Toyota and Toyota Racing, uh, I will be attending a few of the shows. In fact, um, I'm gonna be at the LA Auto Show this weekend. Hey guys, we made it to the LA Auto Show and look who I found. What's up guys? What are we doing here today? We are walking around the LA Life. Walking to the back to the Corolla Thrill Ride. Let's see if we can uh, do some reverse 180s. I guess, yeah. <laughs> all right, we're about to go on a thrill ride in the all new Corolla. Yeah. What's up, Ken? And it is Kevin driving the car. What's up, Kevin? What's up, buddy? Oh, Kevin. Welcome, guys. We're out here at LA Live. We're in the 2019 Toyota Corolla hatchback. It's all new. Both these guys have kicked butt in this car. Frederick, uh, you've won how many championships over the years? I don't even uh, know. Just one. Just one. Just one. Plenty. Many of them. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> You got an amazing job, Kevin. Our now we're inside the show. It was a thrill. So we'll be on the Supra display. Yeah. Pretty mind blowing. Yeah. What's it like? Take us inside the seat of, a, of an actual drift run. Yeah, I mean, I don't really want to talk about my age, but I've been doing this since I was 13, and it's been, what, 18 years now. So if you guys do the math, I'm a little bit over 30. 30. 27. Got yeah. <laughs> um, But since the first time that I got behind the wheel, then took the car sideways, took that Corolla sideways, and uh, fast forward 18 years, that that feeling just doesn't go away. It just yeah. gets better and better every time. Yeah. And of course, when I first started, the Corolla that I had only had about 50 horsepower, 60 maps on a good day. Sure. So a lot of that sort of work starts to come on during the off season, and that's kind of what keeps me busy as a driver uh, when I'm not competing. So. We say it's an off season, but there really isn't much of an off season for us because a lot of it goes into planning, executing, uh, and really getting prepared. And a lot of the preparation really takes a lot of work uh, going into a new season. So yeah, that's what's been going on. Now when I'm at home, which is pretty rare, uh, I've actually been focusing and spending a lot of my time on my simulator setup. So. Um, I know a lot of my followers have been asking for you know some video content, a little bit more of a production scale uh, video and content for what I've been doing on my computer gaming setup. But uh, I have been trying to set up a stream setup on Twitch, uh, so I'll get that running shortly. But I spend probably about five hours a day on my simulator, just practicing different things. And you know, of course, being on my sim is better than just being on this couch doing nothing. So I think. Uh, all this time that I really put into being on simulator is really going to have a huge 
a positive effect on my performance next year. season planning meetings simulators that's pretty much what I do what happens in the off season it's very laid back or at least it seems but uh, behind the scenes there's a lot of planning going on meetings emails and headaches it's very stressful being in the off season and the reason why I say that is because we're not behind the car mm -hmm.